Hi guys, my name is Christina. I'm the office manager here at Big Red Jelly. And for the past year, I have been running the internship program. Here are three essential things that your college advisors are not telling you about your internship. Number one, ask questions. Asking questions is the most important thing you can do from the interview process into when you actually start your internship. Um, this is essential. You are the officially the small fish in the big pond. Going into an interview, you will always be asked, hey, do you have any questions for me? And if you say no, unfortunately, that is a bit of a red flag for the interviewer. You want to show interest in the company, interest in the founder and the CEO and their mission, their vision, and what it is that they actually do. When it comes to actually starting your internship and the program, you're gonna to wanna to ask questions as well. Show that you're eager to understand what it is that they do, um, that you get to learn things, that you want to learn things and perfect your skills and really give back to the company. Number two, make yourself known. When you enter that internship program, you don't wanna hide in the corner. You want to make yourself known. Introduce yourself to people. This is again, a very daunting task, but the moment you meet your mentor or the CEO or the head of the department, go shake their hand, introduce yourself, tell them your name. Doing that makes you look more confident. It shows that you're sure of yourself and that you know you have the ability to be there and you also deserve to be there. It also will help them develop more trust in you as a student and an intern and help them give you projects to help you learn as well. It helps them get to know you and feel confident and trust in you. Number three, make sure to leave the position better than you found it. Yes, your internship changed your life, but to them, you are an intern. They must, they loved you, they gave you lots of projects. It was a great experience for you and the team that you worked with, but you will be going back to school and next summer or next semester, there will be another intern coming in. And if that intern comes in and says, what the heck happened here? I don't even know where to begin. Make sure that you're actually helping your team to progress and to move forward and make sure that you're leaving the position for another intern to fill better, make notes, leave things for people to understand. But this, um, that way the transition is a lot smoother. Um, this also kind of ties into team building and team culture as well. You want to get to know the people, you know, connect with them on LinkedIn, um, you know, leave notes, recommendations, those sorts of things will really help you to leave the position better than you found it. You'll leave a good taste in people's mouth as to who you are and the work that you can do. Internships are an incredible opportunity to learn and gain professional experience and even potentially get yourself a job after graduation. It helps you narrow down what you want to do and helps you narrow into a career path that you will eventually love and you know spend your time in here at big red jelly we offer three internships a digital marketing internship a web design internship and a branding internship if any of these are of interest to you um, please reach out to me and reach out to us at big red jelly and we would love to have you on our team